Good morning, everyone. Mr. House Shipper here. So I wanted to bring you a video of what it uh, looks like to hook up into an existing septic situation. Uh, we're going to be drilling a new well. This particular property, there was a home here before or an old butcher shop. It did have a community well that it was on, but now that we're putting a new home in, we're going to do a new well, but we're going to hook up to what the uh, the existing septic that's already here. So what you're looking at here, guys, is a copy of the actual septic permit. That septic permit shows the location of the existing septic which is there in red and then it shows the drain field from the septic which is there in yellow uh, the black area there is an old uh, drain system for the butcher shop the building that's there um, which is in blue uh, your red portion here on the left side of the screen is the exit the new home that we're doing and then the purple there shows the route that we have to take to hook into the existing septic the well area is going to be on the opposite end of the house or opposite end of the septic. Um, and it's usually about 25 foot away from the house and 100 foot away from that septic system. So now we're out at the site. The plumbers are here um, on the job. I've shown you guys this house before. I showed you the plumbing underneath the home where all the drops are hooked up and they're stepped out to the end of the home down here. So what these guys are doing today um, is they're doing the work connecting to the septic. They're, they've gotten a trencher out. They've trenched a, a trench from the home to the septic. They've laid the four inch drain pipe in there and they've plugged into the set existing septic so this shows you where uh how, and this is a very long trench that they've got a trench here from the house to the so to the septic this tank. is a very long trench that they have here it's over a hundred foot so when you have a, a trench or you have fall underneath the house you've got to have a one inch of fall for every four foot of pipe um so that just makes the sewage and water and everything that you're flushing down the system it makes it obviously fall correctly um, so it's going to go from and then you've got to have a clean out which is here every 75 foot so it's going to go from that house all the way down here to this existing septic system which is there the guys had to dig that up to find out where to plug it in they've got it plugged in um, they've got a tracer on here which is sort of a metal wire so anytime you have to uh, go back after the 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 ditch is covered up and find that pipe you can just use a metal detector and find it uh, but they've got everything trenched in the pipe laid and glued everything is ready for inspection they'll go inside they'll cap actually cap this four inch pipe um, and then fill the drains up inside to make sure there's no leaks or anything inside but guys that shows you um, how to hook into an existing septic tank they found it they located it they trench from the home into the tank um, and now everything should be running and falling properly thank you for my, watching my videos hope you come back and watch more bye bye